Hey guys, John here from Sonic Drive Studio. I hope you're all doing well. Today we're going to take a look at Amplitube 5 Max and the Mesa Boogie 2 expansion by IK Multimedia. Ever since this new version of Amplitube came out, I've been wanting to try it. So I reached out to the folks at IK Multimedia and they provided me with this software to try out for the channel. So what we're basically going to do in this video is take a look at four presets that I created with gear pieces that I really enjoyed. There's a lot of stuff in Amplitude 5, a lot of amplifiers, effects, cabinets, routing options and much much more. But as you guys probably know, I usually like to keep things very simple and basic. So this is basically my selection of a couple of excellent sounds. You know, just to see how it sounds in a real studio situation without going too in-depth when it comes to the functionality of the program. So let's dive in right away. So the first tone that I've created is a clean tone with an amplifier from the Fender collection. And I really like how this sounds. I used my ESP LTD Phoenix 1000 Deluxe guitar for these tones with the Fishman Fluence Modern pickups on the neck pickup. Let's take a listen to that first. <laughs> Great, a nice clean tone indeed. Now also some isolated bits. Okay, so let's take a look at the preset. Keep in mind that my presets in all modelers usually tend to be very simple and straightforward. And so this preset is very simple as well. We have the Fender 64 Vibroverb custom amp here, the bright switch is on, and I've also dialed in some reverb. I really like the fact that many of the amplifiers in Amplitude feature all the switches and controls that the real amps also have. The spring reverb sounds really nice too, very organic. Then we have a simple IR block going on as well with a York Audio IR from the VLUX 210 P10R pack Mix 14. Amplitude features a wide range of speaker, cab and mic options, but you guys know me, I like to keep things simple, so I just prefer to load a simple IR et voila. So it's a great thing in my opinion that Amplitude now offers you to load your own impulse responses. The IR loader is very straightforward but it does have some nice features such as a high and low cut, a tilt, plus size and delay controls for fine tuning the sound. I wish it had a little bit more functionality though. A steeper filter slope on the low cut would have been my preference for example, and better file management for all your own IRs would have been great too, but it's definitely not bad and still a great option that they've included here. Now let's move on to some dirtier tones. And for these tones, I'm going to use my Gibson Les Paul Classic on the Super 57 Bridge pickup for some nice and crunchy classic tones. Let's start by taking a listen to what I've come up with.
Wonderful, now also some isolated tones. Okay, let's take a look at the preset. Again, a very straightforward preset. For these tones, I chose the Brit 8000 amp model as it sounded great to me, which of course seems to be based on a JCM 800 by Marshall. I used the high sensitivity input and these basic settings. Preamp volume or gain is turned up quite a bit, just as how I would do with the real amplifier. Then in the IR block, I'm just loading the Mix01 file from the York Audio MRSH412 Blackjack pack which is based on a Marshall 4x12 cabinet with blackback speakers, and those sound excellent. No filters this time. And finally, I wanted a little bit of room ambience, so I loaded the room reverb effect after the amp with some subtle settings. And that's it. Again, no post-processing was applied to these guitars at all. Now let's check out some heavier, more high-gain rock tones with my Paul Reed Smith SC58 on the bridge pickup. Great, and now also some isolated tones. let's take a look at the preset. So this time I'm using the silver plate 50 amp model which seems to be based on a PRS Archon amplifier. I'm using the lead channel with the bright switch on. Nothing too crazy in terms of settings, just a subtle mid scoop going on. In the IR block I've loaded up a York Audio BGNR412 V30 IR Mix01 to be precise and I filtered out some low end as well. That's it for this preset. Again very simple and straightforward and again no post processing. And now let's check out some heavy metal tones with my ESP LTD Iron Cross James Hetfield signature with the EMG headset pickups. Just to check out the new Mark II C Plus model from the Mesa Boogie 2 collection that they've recently added. Keep in mind that the Mesa Boogie 2 collection is not included in the Amplitude 5 Max bundle. Okay, let's take a listen to the tones right now.
awesome. And now also some isolated tones. Okay, great. So the preset looks like this. As I said, we're using the Mark 2C Plus Mesa Boogie amp model. I was really excited to try this out as it's such a classic for those classic metal tones. The gain seemed a little low, so I boosted the signal with the slash booster pedal. That's an easy way of adding gain. I think I'm boosting around 16 decibels or so. In the amp model, I enabled all the pull options aside from the bright on the lead master. The graphic EQ is on, of course. This EQ is quite touchy and not subtle. The graphic EQ on my Mark 535 is more subtle. You can also switch to the back of the amp, which is the case for most, if not all, the boogie amps. Very nice. I've set the power mode to simul class and adjusted the presence here a touch as well. In the IR block, I'm using the JP mix from the MES 412 OS pack by York Audio, and I also dialed in some subtle filters. And that's basically it. Another very simple but great sounding preset. And just as with the other tones, no post-processing was applied. If you wanted to do some post-processing inside Amplitude, that's also very easy. They have a bunch of effects available for you like compressors and equalizers and stuff like that. So those were the tones that I dialed in. I had a lot of fun with these tones. I think they sounded great. Overall, I think Amplitude 5 is a great piece of software. It has many gear pieces to choose from, many amplifiers, cabs, effects, and so forth. Not all of them are great though, to be honest, so sometimes you have to look a bit for a model that sounds right for the part. And some of the amp models, frankly, are just a bit weaker than some of the others. But many of the licensed amp models seem to be very great and accurate, especially the Mesa Boogie amp models, in my opinion. An example of one of the weaker amp models, in my opinion, was the model that was based on the VH4 by Dietzel, for example. I just could not get it to sound right. But of course, there are many other amp models to choose from in this software, so I think anybody should be able to get a great tone out of this plugin. I can't wait to do a blind test comparison of the Mark V model in Amplitude versus my real Mesa Boogie Mark V 35. Stay tuned for that. But yeah, the effects and pedals are great. There's a wide range of pedals and effects to choose from, so you can really get creative with those. The routing options in this software are great too. The internal cab, speaker and mic options seem fine as well, but I think that it's also great that they added the option to load your own impulse responses. One other thing that I noticed is that some amp models did not seem to have enough gain when compared to the real amps. So I guess that the input level for some of the amps is very low. Of course, this can be easily fixed by using a clean boost or by raising the input level. But yeah, the gain staging for some of the amp models seemed a little bit off when compared to the real life amplifiers. The orange amplifiers come to mind, for example. Not a big deal, but also something to keep in mind. All in all, an excellent piece of software and I look forward to using it more in the future. That's all for this video. I really hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please drop a like and a subscribe down below as that really helps the channel out. I'd usually appreciate it. Also, let me know what you thought of the tones in the comment section down below. You can also follow Sonic Drive Studio on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter for more exclusive content. Thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you guys very soon. Cheers.